66 stopped another time There's so much in California Just to see what I can see Well, nobody knew just where I was And that's all right with me
quieres saber cómo has de conquistar la más linda chica de este lugar. Tu traje nuevo te pondrás y la irás a buscar sonriendo sin cesar. Con ella bailarás, ah, con ella soñarás, con ella hablarás, con ella reirás. Ah, si todo sale bien, volverás a bailar. La tendrás que invitar en algún café, su mano vas a coger después Y por la calle os perderéis cuando llegues a su casa Si es de noche os besaréis, con ella bailarás, con ella soñarás Con ella hablarás, con ella reirás Si todo sale bien, volverás a bailar London, the great gilt coach arriving at the Royal Courts of Justice had brought the city's new first citizen. London had another Lord Mayor, Alderman Sir Charles Trinder. Here unfolded a traditional scene of pageantry as Sir Charles prepared to be sworn into office. But the thousands who had lined his route had witnessed a modern pageant. A huge column headed by marching men and bands followed by a flotilla of fascinating floats. The theme this year of the Lord Mayor's show was London River Sea Highway to the World. It was a grand nautical occasion. Well and worthily represented were the lifeboat men. And shipping's newest innovation, containerization, was very attractively presented in true Navy style. Another cargo load of glamour were some of the Miss World contenders. Shipping links many nations, some of them joined in the fun of London's biggest free show. On this annual day, when the capital lets its hair down to welcome its new Lord Mayor, the show was an excellent and fitting tribute to every man who goes to sea in the ships which, more than ever now, are Britain's lifeblood. They do so much to keep the wheels of industry and commerce turning. The Savoy Hotel, where members of the Variety Club kept one eye on their plates and the other on their table guests. The occasion was a dinner to honour beauty queens from all over the world who had homed on London with their sights set on the Miss World title. Stanley Baker had no trouble finding two beautiful companions. In fact, wherever members of the showbiz charity club looked, there were the choicest international dishes. Some menu. A photographer's paradise, where shapes and faces of perfect proportions whetted appetites for the main course. At another London hotel,
Die schönsten ihres Landes sind, wissen sie. Doch wer die schönste der Welt ist, sollte sich erst erweisen. In London maßen sich die Missen aller Länder. Der Miss World winken Titel und 24.000 Mark. Die deutsche Margot Schmalzried kommt unter die ersten 15. Exotische Schönheit wird von britischen Formen übertrumpft. Die schönste der fünf Erdteile steht fest. Penelope Plummer. Eine 18-jährige Bibliothekarin aus Australien. PP ist der erste preisgekrönte Bücherwurm mit den Maßen 88, 60, 88. There was no doubt about the quality of the product at the Lyceum, when more than 60 stunning beauties lined up on the night of the Miss World Finals. Graham Hill and Stanley Baker with Richard Todd were judges. Some job. This was Miss Argentina. Miss Australia. Miss France. Miss Israel. Miss Guyana. And the homegrown favorite, Miss United Kingdom. Somehow, the panel of experts managed to decide on a last 15. Then, poor things, they had to cast their eyes along the line again to whittle the marvelous missus down to a succulent seven. Well, there they were, seven gorgeous girls just second away from that final decision. Oh, the agony of it. And there she was, Miss World 1968. Penny Plummer, the blonde from Down Under. As they say in Australia, what a beaut. This was the moment of beautiful triumph as the retiring queen, Peru's Madeleine Hartog Bell, installed the new monarch of female proportions. Ahead of the 18-year-old Super Miss waits a magic year. 2,500 pounds was already hers in prize money. 
But during the next 365 glamour-packed days, there are also £40,000 worth of engagements just waiting for her. Penny used to be a librarian. From now on, the only books she'll have to look after will be ledgers. It's not so different from launching any other modern product. The annual campaign to top the sales curves in the beauty business demands all the techniques of modern marketing. Publicity, promotion, presentation, and the greatest of these is presentation. To attract the eye, packaging is all important. It must be outstanding, well-proportioned, and superbly finished. In such a competitive business, success can literally hang by a hairdo. Here we are then, among the high pressure and low calories of the beauty championship of the world. And here's a finished result imported from Australia. 18-year-old Angela Stecker, her ambition to meet the Beatles. Lavelle Rosebud Wordy, exotic name for this African beauty. And Mitziana Stander from Joburg. Kathleen Winstanley from Wigan, the United Kingdom won three years ago. Jonine Avery wants to see our traditional architecture. Meanwhile, just look at hers. Altogether, 53 girls are eligible for the title, Miss Lebanon being found too young, and Miss Spain having dropped out in a row with Gibraltar. Penelope Plummer, once trapped in a lift with 14 men. Nelly Galer, hoping to meet singer Tom Jones. Adrian Harris, hoping to become a doctor. June McMahon from Dublin wants to excel in the beauty world. She's certainly well on the way. Miri Zamir, another Beatle fancier, soon to become an Israeli soldier. Cecilia Amabuyak, but her nickname's Pinky. Cornelia Frieden speaks three languages and looks good in all of them. Pinarut Tananchai likes sewing and gardening. Kathleen Winstanley again. She's in charge of the meals at a grammar school near Wigan. Very dishy. Ivona Pohiera wants to meet Bobby Charlton. But the big question now is to decide the final score. And here it comes. Third, Miss Israel, the 18-year-old model from Haifa. Second, Miss United Kingdom from Wigan, keeping up the northern tradition of top liners. But the top line of all reads Miss Australia, the 18-year-old librarian from Sydney, Penelope Plummer. The coronation is performed by last year's title holder, Miss Peru. Rapturous applause for the blue-eyed blonde who not only likes riding a motorbike and surfing, but also enjoys sewing and interior decorating. Her main ambition is to get married and have lots of children. And who'd say no to that?